Hello everyone, today I want to tell you about something that happened to me recently while using Scratch 3.0. While the new version brings a lot of improvements to Scratch, it turns out that it has one huge problem. You know, apart from the layout being mirrored, which everyone has already complained about. Those of you that watched last week's Five Nights at Freddy's tutorial, at least those who uh, watched further than the 3 minute mark, might have seen this part, which I decided to keep in the video. And then it should hide again. And set the <sighs> this is scratch 3.0 can't save any projects now as you can see i could not save my project file let's skip forward a bit <laughs> okay guys so i just had to download the scratch 3 uh local editor the the you know offline editor because I couldn't save um, the project anymore online and uh, I, the only thing I could do was reload the page and I couldn't even upload the download of the project I made so now I need to use the offline editor which is great you know that's great when almost a month after the product comes out it still has bugs like this I mean it's free but so now as I said I had to download the project file and import it into the scratch 3.0 offline editor because uploading it back to the online editor just would not work. Then everything seemed fine and I just finished the tutorial, but a couple days later when I tried to open the project file again, well, this is what happened. That's right, absolutely nothing, and I tried everything to get it to work. I opened the editor first and then imported the file, I changed the file name, I copied the file to a different location, I deleted the file although that might not have been such a great idea, but nothing helped. I couldn't do anything to get the project working again. So what can I do now? I can't upload it to the Scratch online editor and I can't import it to the Scratch offline editor. The only choice I have now is to open the last working backup I have and to follow my own tutorial to get it to the point I need for the next tutorial. Now, I'm making this video for two reasons. First of all, to warn people, because we all know what it feels like to work on a project for hours only to have all that progress be lost for whatever reason. <laughs> and second, because I hope that this will make the Scratch team aware of this huge bug in Scratch 3.0. I mean, I'm glad they're doing all this work for us, making new versions of Scratch and improving on a software that we love. But these bugs are really annoying. So I hope they might see this video and maybe try to fix it somehow. Have you noticed any annoying bugs in Scratch 3.0? Except for the layout being mirrored. If you have, please comment them below so we can collect them and maybe I'll make just a video just about bugs in Scratch 3.0 because I feel like there's more than enough. But anyways, please leave a like, please subscribe and see you in the next video.